J.D. and Foxy at the Hairdressers by Glenn Markovit At midday today, six-year-old J.D. Woods has an appointment at Hair World, the local Henderson hairdressers. Her fringe needs a trim. J.D., says Mummy, you may take one toy with you. Who is going to be the lucky choice? At first, J.D. thinks of Boom Boom, the next-door neighbor's dog. Don't be silly, she tells herself. Boom Boom's a real dog, not a pretend one. But she really thought he ought to come along. Mummy, she asks, what sort of dog is Boom Boom? He's a Yorkshire Terrier, why? His fringe needs a trim too, <laughs> Mummy laughs. JD likes it when she makes someone smile or laugh. But what she said wasn't funny, was it? She doesn't really understand adults. Quickly now. Choose someone, Daddy is ready to go, encourages Mummy. JD stands still and thinks. I could take my fluffy netball toy with a silver fern on it. She frowns. No, it doesn't bounce. Then there's Buzzy B, my pull-along toy, but it makes a loud clacking noise when it rolls and most grown-ups don't like noise. Maybe I'll take my monarch butterfly brooch. I could pin it to my shoulder and pretend she's a real one sitting there. JD giggles at the idea. Again, Mummy's voice interrupts her thinking. Daddy's about to get into the car and go, please hurry. I can't choose between Kiwi, Foxy or Haslow the Bear, JD calls back. Make the choice now or you'll have to go without, replies Mummy. JD consults herself. I'll pick Foxy. He's the closest toy animal I have like Boom Boom. Foxy has lived with his little owner for three years, but he still has his toy shop plastic hook in his head. JD grabs the orange, white and black toy and rushes from her room. The moment she gets herself to the car though, Mummy calls back again. JD grumbles under her breath. Mummies and daddies are funny things. I'm told to do something, then when I try to do it, I'm told to come back. What Mummy? I'm trying to get into the car like you wanted. You're going to need this now, Mummy nods. She has JD's black and orange polka dotted umbrella in her hand. It's starting to rain. On the way to Henderson hairdressers, Daddy turns on the window wipers. The black rubber arms move quickly back and forth across the window, attempting desperately to lick up every splat of rain. In JD's imagination, Foxy comes alive. He tries to catch the wipers. He can't though, because they're on the other side of the glass. JD and Daddy arrive in Henderson. Daddy parks on the road next to the sidewalk. There are several other cars parked on the street. She and Daddy will have to walk a bit before they reach Hair World. Do you have an umbrella, Daddy? No, sweetheart. We might have to huddle under your one. <laughs> That'll be fun. Maybe. Your umbrella is big enough for you, not for you and me. We can try, encourages JD. Well, thank you, little lady, smiles Daddy. JD is a lot shorter than Daddy is, with Foxy in one hand and the umbrella in her other. Daddy must bend very low to fit his head under it. <laughs> JD laughs. Daddy looks so funny, with his head down and the rest of him poking out and waddling beside her. Daddy knows what it looks like and quacks like a duck. <laughs> JD giggles. She likes it when others make her smile or laugh as well. Inside Hair World, JD and Daddy sit in line for five minutes. The lady hairdresser calls a girl's name. It's JD's turn. She happily skips to the stool. The lady hairdresser helps her up onto it. JD has carried Foxy to the stool but pretends that he has run across the floor at her feet. When she is seated, her imagination helps Foxy jump onto her lap. Outside, Foxy had been rained on with water. Now inside the building, he is rained on by bits of JD's cut off hair. When the lady hairdresser has finished her client's fringe, the worker smiles at Foxy and picks him up. Well now, 
I see you need a haircut too, she tells him. JD grins. She really hears adults talk to soft toys. Would you like your toy to have a trim too? Okay, agrees JD. And the lady hairdresser snips off the plastic hook in his head. She passes Foxy back to her little owner. JD takes him and hugs him tight. What fun! We both had our heads trimmed today. Ready to go home, sweetie? asks Daddy, reaching out his hand. Yes, I'm ready, and so is Foxy. JD slides off the stool and grips his hand. Now, I hope you don't plan on embarrassing your old dad again, are you? It's not easy quacking like a duck, you know. I don't sound anything like one. Perhaps this time you better hold the umbrella and I'll quack like a duck. <laughs> Daddy chuckles. Yes, your imagination is so great. I bet you would make a better duck. I would. And to prove Daddy right, she did quack like a duck and did so with great gusto. And Daddy still ends up embarrassed. On the way home, the rain stops, and out comes the sun. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.